What's up famous Cam coming at you from the two sigs. Welcome back to CFR. Today I'm doing a video on one fragrance house or one fragrance brand that will cover all your fragrance needs. This was actually a tag video. I wasn't specifically tagged, but I saw that Stefan Fragrance was doing this. I was like, not a bad idea for a video, so I'm gonna take it and run with it. Now, I know you guys know that there are a few fragrance houses that I feel cover a lot of my personal needs. Let's say like, who knows, maybe Tom Ford, what you guys think? I know what you think. These are overpriced and don't perform all that well. That is true under certain circumstances. What about a house like Killian? Yeah, not mass appealing enough and yeah, they're kind of expensive. So if I was going to break out a house that was a little more expensive, it would have to be justifiable by versatility, covering all bases, and the price that they're asking give you that performance you're needing. Stay tuned to see which house I picked. So when you're thinking of a fragrance house or brand that is going to cover every base, you're going to need a fragrance for date night. You're going to need something that's versatile. You're going to need something for the office, for the winter, for the summer, for the spring, so on and so forth. Cover any possible circumstance that could come your way. The house that I have picked for this is none other than Parfum de Marly. The first fragrance I picked I feel is actually kind of a, a vibrant and regal fragrance. It would be perfect for a dressed up situation and I've even worn this casually but as far as like something that you would need to wear on a special event or you know whatever you want I would pick Pegasus. Pegasus is known as a vibrant, sensual, and addictive fragrance. Very well known for its smoky and creamy almond and musk notes. It also has a little bit of like a, a metallic note as some people describe it. It is a very unusual fragrance but is very very addictive. Once you get your nose on it, I actually really enjoy wearing this in the spring and in the fall but you could get away with it pretty much year round as long as you don't get into like extremely high heat. And Pegasus also has above average performance. So you can buy these in the 75 ml just like I did here. That'll help you on the price point and as far as longevity, performance, sillage, you're gonna get above average on all the above. Next fragrance I picked is known as a date night king and something that you could wear pretty much almost year round. It is Leighton. Now Leighton has been at the forefront of so many people's lists as far as like date night fragrances, fragrances that women love, and fragrances that men in general just enjoy wearing. Leighton is a very elegant fragrance. Some people have even said it has like a Christmas tree note, which I really didn't ever get until I just kind of like dug in there and I'm like, ah, okay. I guess it's kind of that cozy or comforting feeling that you get when a Christmas tree is in your house. You do get that a little bit, but the vanilla note in here is what people absolutely adore. Other than that vanilla, you've got some mandarin orange, some apple, and some cardamom as some of the notes in this, and it also has a little bit of lavender in here. A beautiful, sexy, luxurious fragrance, and again, excellent performance, excellent projection, excellent sillage, and women absolutely adore this bad boy. Next fragrance I picked is extremely versatile. It's pretty simplistic. It is Galloway. This is not a fragrance that a lot of people talk about. It is kind of a, you know, it's not like an overly complicated fragrance. You've got some citrus, you've got some musk, and you have some woods. But you also have beastly performance, insane projection and performance. Now, it's not like that kind of fragrance that, you know, just really just jumps out and acts crazy or anything, but it lasts all day long. And it's subtle enough, even though having that really good performance, that you can wear it in an office situation. Just don't overspray this one. If you overspray it, just as you, you know, any other fragrance, overspraying could be a huge no-no. But this is one that people think, oh, it don't have that good of projection or performance or sillage. Uh-uh, no, it has Excellent all the above. Very simplistic type fragrance, but it also has a sexiness about it. I like wearing this one spring, summer, but could easily be worn year round. Now I know that there are many fragrances from Parfum de Marley you guys will be bringing up in the comments or that are your personal favorites. There are a lot of women's fragrances from Parfum de Marley that are absolutely extremely awesome, but I'm just trying to cover enough bases I can. I know I'm gonna leave some of your favorites out, but without any further ado, I know a lot of you love personal but as my alternate to Percival, I feel that I enjoy 
Sedley more than I do Percival, with Percival and Sedley being more geared towards the warmer months. Sedley especially is perfect for summer. It is a bright, crisp, fresh, citrusy, and aquatic fragrance that just absolutely works. Some of the notes in this one are lemon, grapefruit, mint, musk, and sandalwood. This one is the 2020 batch and on the opening, you know, out of the nozzle, it does seem to have, you know, a little bit more going on. They didn't change any of the notes. They didn't change anything about this fragrance. This one has just macerated longer. And of course, as it comes out of the nozzle, out the gates, if you'll notice, it does don't have the oxygenization as the other one. Just waste two sprays for you. Might as well waste one or two or three or even four. For myself, I absolutely adore this fragrance, especially for the summertime. If you haven't smelled this one, I have had the 2019 and 2020. Not any difference other than the fact that it smells a little stronger when it comes out of the nozzle. Now, of course, if you're a guy like me, you're gonna need that statement maker in your collection. My favorite statement maker from Parfum de Marley is Carlisle. Now, I have recently seen people talking recently like 2019 or newer, which ain't very long. Well, you may be a year. <laughs> They're saying that this one doesn't have that beastly performance and projection that you know this was so notorious for. This one for me is very beastly, but of course, if you spray it moderately or whichever batch, if you have an older one or newer one, or if you're buying a decant, just check it, gauge it, see how it does, because this one can be a little much if you over spray it, but it's very unique. It's also very, very sexy. This one would also pass as a date night fragrance. This would also pass for a formal event. Now for me, Personally, Carlisle is going to be more geared for the colder months, fall, especially winter. Now, this one also has some bright citrus notes on the top, like mandarin orange and bergamot. But you also have spices like cardamom in here. You have florals like violet, and you also have a little bit of the earthiness that comes from the patchouli. And of course, you can also get some of that spiciness from the patchouli as well. I think that this is a great statement maker. I absolutely love Carlisle and every fragrance that I've shared with you so far do hold a special place in my heart. So I can't really say like one, two, three, four, five or anything. I'm just telling you each occasion works for me and being worth it as far as like performance, siage, projection, and they can also be bought on the gray market. And of course, if you're a tobacco lover like me, you're gonna need that tobacco fragrance. Parfum de Marley Herod is an absolute stunner of a tobacco fragrance with not a very distinct tobacco note. You can tell that it's in here. It's very well blended with some cinnamon, some pepperwood, vanilla, and incense. Beautifully blended fragrance that really just comes off my skin really, really nice. Now, I have had a couple different formulations. I did mention a while back that I did find an older batch that was much darker that did have a much more pronounced tobacco note in it. This is a little bit later. It's not a super new batch. The performance and projection on this particular bottle and the other bottle that I have, or the decan I should say, actually have very good performance and projection, but I have seen where people have talked about performance and projection issues. Check it for yourself, buy a decan, see how it does on your skin. Your skin plays a big part in that projection and performance, but overall I feel the Herod is absolutely one of the best tobacco fragrances or fall fragrances that you could buy from any house or brand. Two more fragrances that I would like to add before closing out are a couple more statement makers, and they're both gonna be perfectly suitable, more so for the fall and winter. So I'm gonna start with the one that I like best for the fall, and that is gonna be Hobdun. If you guys have seen what I've said about this one, it actually reminds me of being like at the state fair or county fair, getting those caramel apples. This one does have caramel and apple and saffron as some of the notes in this. It is a unique gourmand fragrance. It also has some vanilla, rose, and myrrh as more of the notes for this. And of course that myrrh is a well-known Middle Eastern fragrance. As a matter of fact, the last one I was going to talk about is Wojan. So Ojin or Wojan and Hobden both came out as part of the Middle Eastern collection. I adore both of these. Let me go ahead and finish up with Olgen and tell you my thoughts on this one. Now where Hobden really differentiates from Olgen, this is much sweeter. This is like a real 
genuine gourmand. It has like almost like that sweet tooth gourmand vibe about it. This is one that I've actually even compared to Hermes's Ombre Nougat. It does definitely have that vibe. Some people have said that they thought it was like a clone of it. I actually own both. I do see the similarities, but they are still doing their own thing. Some of the notes in this one are cinnamon, honey, ambergris, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. This is a very sexy fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances to wear in the winter time when I want to wear a gourmand. So I feel like that pretty much finishes up, you know, just about anything you would need. You've got something for the gourmand lover. You got something for the tobacco lover. You got something for spring, fall, for the fair, for a date. You get my drift. There's something for everyone. I feel that all these have either above average or beast mode performance projection. They are a little bit more pricey, but if you know where to look, always check the gray market always check discounters there's a lot of these available without having to pay full retail or if you want a sample go to today's sponsor go to www.myfragrancesamples.com enter my discount code CFR15 for a 15% discount as I said this was a tag video even though I wasn't tagged I'm going to go ahead and tag some people the first channel that I'd like to tag is Ashton from GentSense Ashton you have so many different houses and like almost complete lines of these houses I would love to see what you would pull out next person I'd like to tag is Timmy at imagine scent pretty much the same story Timmy has a lot as well so I want to see what his picks would be and last channel I'd like to pick is Chris from Fragmental my friend over in the UK Chris let's see what house or fragrance brand would be your pick to cover all your fragrance needs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Down in the comments, let me know what your one house or fragrance brand would be that would cover any situation. Until next time, I'll see you on Carolina Fragrance Reviews.